Hey babe, I have to go to Aruba. Hey babe, wake up. Can you shave my back? I have to go to Aruba. Babe. Try and stay in the path and watch where we're walking. Certain butterflies tend to be in the ground if you don't want to step on them. Uh, try not to touch the wing, but if they land on you, you can be. Okay. <laughs> and I will take you to your place. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. that stage it's called basically metamorphosis or that process now metamorphosis for the people who don't know if you translate it roughly means to complete to change completely or complete change males can fly around and check out whichever female they want but females are very 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 picky of their partners now once they find the male she's gonna be like if you want some of this you're gonna have to work for it it's not gonna be easy She's gonna put him through his paces, so she's gonna fly through branches, over canopies, through the trees, and if he holds up, there's still the, rating, um, the mating ritual to do itself, which consists of them flying up above into a spiral. The male will try to fly above her, flutter his wings, and shower with pheromones. Now, if he wins her heart, he can land on the ground in front of you with no shame, on the mesh net, on the plants, anywhere else that is safe, and they will put their bodies onto each other and they will start to mate. Depending on how, how many eggs the female is born with, it could be 200, 800 to even 1,000 eggs, depending on species. Wow. So the mating can take up to a couple of hours to 48 hours to mate completely. During the mating, during mating, basically, if a predator wants to attack them, guess who's going to do all the flying away to the next secure spot? Can you, anybody give me a guess? Female. 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 I just want to tell you guys the reason we do all of this to educate people on the importance of butterflies around the world. Because of butterflies, we have certain veggies, fruits, plants, flowers, and trees in general. So I'm trying to encourage people to grow gardens to attract more butterflies so to help ecosystem. Once you go back to wherever you guys live, I mean wherever you guys live, do some research, find out which butterflies that, that are like indigenous to your region, and find out which host plants they need. Grow those host plants at home and, and raise the population of the butterflies. This is, this is the heliconius. This is basically the one I told you guys that live about a month or um, nine months long the reason you can tell them apart because their bodies is small and they have long set of wings yeah. so their nick nicknames are basically long wings yeah. does anybody want to hold this one yeah. have a little friend walk around with go ahead. Yeah. there you go it's 
So everybody, thanks again for your patience and your attention. I hope we informed you guys enough. If you guys have any questions that come up afterwards, find me around. Feel free to ask me anything. If you need anything, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Enjoy your vacation. You too. Can I walk barefoot in here? Yeah, sure. No problem. That thing is huge. This is the biggest moth in the world. What's its name? The Atticus Atlas moth. Atticus Atlas? Yes, they have a nickname for it. It's called basically the King Cobra moth because it has these two cobra shaped tips on the end of its wing. There's two of us. Do you want fries here? Yes. And plantain, banana? Yes. Cornbread, it's a local bread. Yes. Onion but and just, uh, just one fry? See, I put one fries, one plantain, and one bread. Yeah, exactly. And onion and vinegar, and tartar sauce? Uh, tartar sauce, yes. Onion, no. Okay. So the ketchup we got is grouper and mahi mahi. Uh, can I have uh, one of each? One of each. One of each. Like some shrimps also. You want just some 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 try? 
Yeah, yeah, give me about a ten shrimp. I guess. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. One of those deep fried? Yeah, everything is deep fried shrimp. How do I have everything now? Yeah, you have one fries, plantain, cornbread, two turtles of fish and shrimps. Two people. Perfect. There's mahi and mahi, mahi and grouper. And grouper. Whoa. People twenty one. This is twenty four dollar. Okay. I'm Joseph, we are here at Zero Over, okay? You can see the view, whatever. We use what we call the kiss system here. Keep it simple, smiling, and not stupid, okay? So everything what we do here is very simple. It comes from the sea. Some of them, of course, I haven't seen the sea in a long time, but also when it is fresh. All right, okay. We'll start with the French fry and plain things. So we go to and make yourself at home. Okay, so you order mahi mahi, okay? And of course we have grouper. Wow, beautiful. All right. The shrimp. Okay. The fish I cook it more or less. I would say one minute, one and a half minute. Everything depends. I like to make the fish uh, really juicy. Otherwise, you know. Like the mahi mahi will come too, too stiff. The group will stay excellent. So here you see it's very easy. You got a view. Everything is cooking. Very simple, we do it and after we finish, then we put a big secret on it. Which is until here, I uh, won't see it. <laughs> the older will come then I'm <laughs> How long have you been here for? Uh, I started here in the kitchen nine years ago. Wow. So we have a kitchen nine years, more or less, together with uh, the Bislik family. They own the place. Okay. So, um, and it's easy. You, you can see. View, everything. So Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. And each and every time I would like to quit, I put that for myself. That's true. I agree. Okay, the shrimp, but we're not cooking that much. French fries is almost ready. Shrimp easy. I like it juicy. Let me see the fish. All right. A few more seconds. And it's time to leave Z Rovers, but before you do, can a bird get a shrimp? Throw it right at him, they'll catch it. And the Ritz Hotel Casino was one of the only casinos that served pina coladas. And in the Caribbean, who doesn't serve pina coladas? Good thing the Ritz does. And I accidentally bet $5 on this bet. Good thing I didn't lose. Now, I can't recommend this enough. While you're at the Ritz Casino, please, trust me on this one, have their sushi. It's the freshest, best sushi I've ever had in my life. Sorry, I tried to get a good shot of my plate, but I couldn't stop eating it. It was that good. It's right here, right next to the casino on the patio deck. Just look at those views. This was actual sights and sounds while we were there, and we got a shot of the menu for you. So you can see it's not that expensive, but it is 
the best sushi I've ever had. And here's another fun thing to do while you're in Aruba. Souvenir shop. But try this Monkey Joe souvenir shop right off the main strip. They give you a free beer. That's right, a free beer while you shop. Now's the time to try the local Balaji or chill. Now to find Monkey Joe's, just go downtown. Look for this pink hotel. And it's also where the ship's dock. And here's a little secret tip for you. A great place to park right around the corner from Monkey Joe's is right across from all the souvenir shops. If you go in, drive into this parking lot, tell them you're going to go to the casino or you're going to go shopping and they'll let you park there for free. But just don't tell anyone else. And one last fun thing that I wanted to share with you is buying Cuban cigars. Because you can't really buy these in the United States and they're world class cigars. They're great. I recommend the great Monte Cristos or the Romeo and Juliets. And yes, it is legal to bring a few of them back with you to the United States. They're great to have around later or just celebrate special occasions. Or of course as gifts as well. And this particular cigar shop is right around the corner from the IRU Hotel. Okay, that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if any of these tips or tricks help you at all on your trip to Aruba, please leave a comment below in the comment section. And going to Aruba is a once in a lifetime experience. At least it was for me. So enjoy your time while in Aruba. Thanks again. Bye. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy.